The CompTIA Security Plus certification is one of the most popular certification exams in the world, but that does not mean it's easy. In fact, thousands of smart, very motivated, and very hardworking people fail this exam every single day. But that's not because they're not capable, they fail because they made one or two very critical mistakes along the way. So in this video, I'm going to be breaking down the top three reasons a lot of people fail the Security Plus exam and how you could avoid those mistakes. And stick around till the end because I'm going to be sharing a game-changing tip that will help you save your score literally. Let's dive in. The number one reason a lot of people fail the Security Plus certification exam is the following. They study for it like it's a history test. They go through the textbook, watch some videos online, maybe flip a few flashcards, and try to memorize mountains of definitions. Don't get me wrong, knowing the terms is super important when it comes to the Security Plus certification. But it's not just about knowing the terms and what they mean. It's about applying that knowledge in real world situations and scenarios. The exam is full to the rim with situation-based questions. You'll get asked things like, your company was hit by a phishing attack. What's the first thing that you should do? Questions like this are very common on the exam and they get more and more complex. And if all you've done is memorize that phishing is a type of social engineering, you're gonna be stuck. Here's how you can fix it. You need to practice thinking like a security analyst. This means going behind just the what and figuring out the why and the how. And that's why I really recommend the course at deontraining.com. Just because it doesn't throw the definitions at you, it actually helps you understand the why and the how behind lots of concepts in the Security Plus exam. Using real world examples, hands-on demonstrations, and practice exams that mirror the quality of the actual exam. So. Don't just memorize, understand. Mistake number two, ignoring performance-based questions. These are the questions on the exam that make your heart race. And to be honest with you, the first time I saw one of those questions in a CompTIA exam, I literally felt like I was going to fail the exam right away. Instead of multiple choice questions, you'll be asked to do something. Configure a firewall, fix something with the network, or pick a solution to a situation. And too many test takers skip these kind of questions when it comes to preparing for the exams. They don't do any kind of preparation, thinking that they're just gonna figure it out come test day. This is a very bad idea. These questions show up at the very beginning of your exam and if you see them and you feel like you don't know anything about them, it's gonna feel really bad and it's actually gonna hinder how you perform on the easier questions in the exam because they can mess with your confidence before you even get to question number five. And here's how to fix it. You need to practice these kind of questions ahead of time. Simulate them and get familiar with how they work. Our exam application at deontraining.com helps you do just that. It includes examples for different BBQ questions that help you prepare for those questions before the exam. We also offer a lab-only course that helps you gain a lot of hands-on knowledge that can be critical when you're doing those BBQs in the exam. When you know what to expect, you're gonna walk in confident and you're gonna ace the exam. And mistake number three, not having a study plan. Too many people are just randomly watching YouTube videos, going through two or three study guides, maybe they have a book that they bought someday, and they're just burning a ton of time, energy, and money, and only getting overwhelmed and not getting anywhere with their studies. Let me tell you this, the Security Plus exam has a lot of content to be covered. You've got to cover risk management, encryption, network security, identity and access controls, threats, cloud environments, and a lot more. And if you don't have a structured path to follow, you're gonna certainly fail or you're never going to take the step and schedule the exam. And even if you're a very detail-oriented person, you're probably gonna miss something. And that something could be the reason you fail or you pass your exam. Here's how to fix it. You need a step-by-step -step study plan made by experts who know what they're doing. And that is actually aligned with the official exam objectives. One that builds your knowledge in the right order and checks your understanding along the way. And yes, you guessed it. We've got just that at deontraining.com. If you go to deontraining.com and sign up for the course, you're gonna get multiple study plans that are spread out over different time periods so that you can use the one that fits you best. And when you're following the study plan, you are in safe hands. We've done this thousands if not hundreds of thousands of times before. We've helped a lot of students pass their Security Plus exam, so we kind of know what we're doing here. And at any point that you pause your studying, you're gonna know exactly where you are and what's left before you're ready to take the exam. And finally, before we wrap up this video, I just wanna tell you that if you buy your voucher from deontraining.com, you can actually add the take two option that helps you retake the exam if you fail it the first time at just a fraction of the price. So do it right now. 
head on to deontraining.com and start your cybersecurity journey. So let's recap the top three reasons that people fail the Security Plus exam. The first reason is that they study for the Security Plus like it's a history test. You shouldn't do that. Don't memorize, understand. They skip a lot of the performance-based questions and so they lose a lot of points come exam day, which is something that you don't want to do. Prepare for those and be ready. And finally, they don't follow a real study plan and they study randomly. Don't do that, have a plan, and execute it. So, if you're ready to up your game and get CompTS Security Plus certified, head on to deontraining.com, check out the course, check out the voucher, and get started. If you like this video, hit the like button, comment down below, let me know if you have any questions or suggestions or any ideas for videos that you want to see, and I'll see you in the next one.